good morning. Okay. Welcome to our moves to France. Yeah. Out and about yet again. Right, today we are going to the no, uh, no, not the no, That's me that keeps calling yeah. him the no, yeah. <laughs> We're going to see the Marie, the mayor of the uh, town that we've bought the house in. Um, basically to introduce ourselves and hopefully get him to switch the water on. Because uh, <coughs> apparently he's in charge of it, so that's what we're doing today. And then going around the house, we're going to try and repair the quad because that's going to be very useful for what we need to be doing over the next few days. Plus, we did, I'm not sure if you said in uh, your last video, we knocked and uh, introduced ourselves to the neighbours or neighbour neighbor. who already knew um, a little bit about us and the fact that the house had been sold because apparently the Marie has told. Uh, Once we are settled and we're living there, obviously we've got that field. 
know, I'd love to have even like um, them two chaps uh, on Saturday night. It'd be a lovely evening. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know how that go down because obviously we do have uh, neighbours. I know they're not directly attached to us, but I don't know whether that's something you'd be allowed to do. I think you get away with like uh, a bracon, which is effectively a boot yeah. sale. Probably nothing of any An course. event, I think we would have to hold in, in the other bit where it's further away. So when it's quite centralised. I don't know. Or even just things like outside Pilates or uh, something like that. Yeah. Because as we've established myself and my two other friends, um, our age group, there isn't um, anything going on. Um, which is a shame because I'd like to throw myself into uh, Pilates or um, an exercise class, legs, bums and tums or something, but not locally is there anything like that. Um, or Zumba. Well, I haven't so, seen Zumba out here. So that's something maybe. I mean, I've got enough on my plate, but that's something later on down the line. I could try and arrange in the summer months and the evenings. Yep. Few people wanting to chip in and get a teacher, we could all go off and do that. Um, yeah, because I've put on about well, I haven't put on about, I have put on a stone since I've been in France, and that's uh, all the croissants and breads I've really got to stop. <laughs> start eating healthy. Terrible, terrible. Nothing to do with the Big Macs and stuff then? No. No? Uh, it's all the rubbish. Okay. Yeah, it's all the rubbish. Because unfortunately, everything is prepared fresh here. Unlike the UK, we're slightly lazy. But to my defence, was working at the time. But I could pop to a supermarket and just buy, to my, to my mum's disgust, like a pack of stir fry already in a bag and then the meat already done and then a sauce and then you just chuck it in the wok and that was pretty much how we sort of I shopped. Yeah. Stew pack already cut up and done. Um it's not like that here. No. At all. Here you actually have to buy a pepper and you have to You have, you have to, to use something called a knife and you have to we, cut it. I'm not knocking that. <laughs> You're knocking it. I said you have a day you, you, you I said you have a day. <laughs> um do stir fries and you went, no you can't, there's no packets. Right, but I'm not knocking that, but equally, uh, we're not retired, no. our life is still as busy, yeah. it's not as busy as the UK, but we drop the kids off at school at half past eight, we go to work all day, we pick the kids up at five o'clock, at five o'clock they're starving because they don't like the school dinner, so they haven't eaten all day, I haven't got long to sort them a dinner out. So when you think, you think I'm going to start um, getting peppers If you want to lose weight, yes. No, I've decided. No, I'm what gonna, are going to do then? I'm going to do what this lady does on Facebook that I've been following. She, on a Sunday, right. spends pretty much half a day in the kitchen, but she preps everything for the whole week. Right. And then she either will cook it and freeze it, and then that's that's the only way we're going to do it. I, I have not got time. How are you going to freeze it? We don't have a freeze big enough to freeze for, uh, what, a meal, for seven days meals for five. Well, I'll have to think about this. <laughs> uh, you are funny. I mean, if people think I'm just <coughs> there making flipping jam and God, no, I've, we're not in that, I'm not in that ready for that yet. No. We are too busy. Yeah. Out and about. And we've just just become busier. <laughs> I think it's lovely if you've got all day to go to markets and buy your fresh stuff and sit there preparing it. But the practicalities are yeah. uh, we're not on a channel 
uh, DIY channel where we have the luxury of just spending our life doing a property up and not having to go to work. Okay. Which I do which I do think they should actually make some more programmes but like real life nitty gritty on how people are still having to run a business, generate work, raise a family and do a house up rather than just watch people just renovating and that it's lovely that they do that and they have the money to sit there and not have to go to work but it's not always realistic is it? It's not reality no. No. But we're no different to anybody else that works in the UK that's doing their house up and running a family are we? No. But it seems to be as you say most of the programmes are well, it's not realistic. You know, you've got people behind the scenes doing all the work. And then they just sit there and go, ta-da, you know, this has been done. Or you've got people that don't have to work and uh, are getting their revenue elsewhere, aren't they? Unfortunately, we're not in that position. So. Well, what I'm saying is it's, it's nice to watch, but equally I think we should have the more practical side side of things when you're doing your house up <coughs> and you're not like you are in the UK if you think you are where you can just pop off to BQ at any time of the day and pick up whatever you might have forgotten come 12 o'clock you've forgotten something you're stuffed because until 2 o'clock yeah. you're forced to take a lunch break <laughs> you uh, <laughs> you can't go off and just nip and bite you've got to be quite organised out here haven't you even going to the dump which is called the Deschettery out yeah, here. Yeah, closed. You know, you've got to be up and out early. That shuts, shuts at 12 o'clock. I think it's shut on a Monday as well, isn't it? It might be shut on a Monday. The bank, that's shut. Where are you going? We ain't got time to get petrol. Oh, got 10 God. minutes. Oh, Tony! Well, you're the one that left so late. Oh, let's just hope we don't break down. We won't break down. Plenty of diesel. Okay. Um, that was fun. <coughs> Yeah, you have got to be pretty organised out here. Yep. I mean, we'll as time goes by and we start having to go out and buy uh, stuff, materials for the house, we'll take you on that journey because I don't think that's as easy as what we think. As in what? Well, even just the sheets for the shed roof. Yeah, as I say, I think we'll just go to the clock. I'm sure that's where they were. So yesterday I took down two sheds purely because they were on the verge of collapsing even though they were still really difficult to get down. Mm. Um, I've sort of kept some bits of wood that... Um, to repair the other sheds. To repair the other sheds. Um, so we've got quite a few sheds to just repair and we've equally got a roof of a shed to repair. But loads of roofs to repair. Um, because the, the one that we need to repair the roof, all our um, equipment for our garden is going in there, and at the moment it's got, I don't know whether it's got a roof, half a roof, <coughs> no roof. I think it's got half a roof, it's but even, even there I don't think it's all time. So. so that's what we've got to do, uh, get that repaired watertight, and then we can start once the sheds are... person having a laugh? I don't know, it's Monday. They either go, for, well, it's, it's not lunchtime. You notice at about 12 o'clock everyone drives like the lunatics because they're all wanting <laughs> well, to get off to their lunch breaks. Yeah. Um, yeah, so this week, in between working, we've got a whiteboard now with a list of our top priorities we've got to get done. The path is one. Yeah, that's our that's top number priority. One. Number two is the pub. <laughs> I've got number two as our pub. Yeah. Um, the pub. That's the going. That's going where the where the wine bottles were. The shed. The sheds is a priority because um, once the sheds are all repaired, we can bring over equipment, and then we can, when we're at the house, we've got it to hand. Yep. So, the gardening shed and Tony's two tool sheds are a priority because, like yesterday, I didn't have a hammer. Uh, I had. We had two pairs of gardening gloves between us, which the kids put on. So I was trying to. But well, we was coming over to start on the path. 
but we decided not to. Well, you're not supposed to make any noise on a Sunday, like any machinery noise. I know I explained this yesterday. And we didn't dawn on us until we got there, and then we thought better of it. So, um, yeah, rather than just stand there doing nothing, you pulled the ivy off and I just done the sheds. Mm. Dude. So yeah, so that sound is. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, it's not very long yet though. <coughs> well, just even with just doing the sheds, so I haven't finished that. I haven't no, finished well, let's look at the shed room. Really. We've got to have the trailer over. Yeah. So. But when you're doing the dump runs, it's probably no different to the UK, where you get pack your trailer or car accordingly because. They are quite, um... Look, it's been taken, been overtaken by an A going, that's how slow she's driving. I don't want to burn much fuel. Well, leaving it in third gear or whatever gear you're in isn't going to help, um, is it? Yeah, packing the uh, trailer or, um... The van. The, the boot. See, the problem is, the, in, the, in this uh, van that we've got, you've got <coughs> extra seats. One of them's, it's a nine-seater. My car had to go in because it's got a problem with the gearbox, which is being fixed under warranty. And the white car, the clutch. The white is car, gone. the clutch is gone. We're still waiting for two garages to get yeah. back to us. Um, so we've got this, but uh, these seats are not easy to take out at all. So we've basically got. I well, we can't really do anything until I get my car back because they're taking the kids out to and from school and things like that. If we take the seats out, we'll put them back in, take them out, put them back in, take them out, put them back in. They're heavy, they weigh a ton. Um, so, I should be getting my car back, hopefully mm -hmm. this weekend. And then we can take them, well, I'll probably put the other seats, throw them in here, we'll take them over to the, the new house and get them, get them out of the way. Uh, and then we can... Start filling this up, taking it to the desheterie, getting rid of all the wood, the sheds. The, we got a load of woods, um, and then the owner's just gone round the grounds and just chucked any old thing. So there's loads and loads of, and I know it's him, he's come out of his shed and he's just lobbed it in the grounds. <laughs> um, there's loads yeah, of glass nice. jars, loads. Um, I don't know, it's just rubbish, strewn all over. 46 place. years of rubbish. So. But it's our rubbish now, so that's good. Right, anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this now. I've been going on at 18 minutes. Um, if there's any updates today, um, anything we find out, I'll record again. If not, have a good day, and we'll see you tomorrow. See you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Right, we're back at the house. Uh, come out of the Marie's office. Um, apparently, apparently the water, there is no meter, which we was told, oh, the meter had been read, I don't know where you read, but uh, apparently there is no meter, and we need, need a new one pulled in, so I need to speak to the note here, the solicitor about that, because that's going to cost us money, which it shouldn't, and uh, also there's two, three big trees in the front garden, um, that Mr. Can't say his name um, was supposed to have had cut down because they're dangerous and could fall into the road. So I'm going to have to get someone to do that again. Going to have to speak to Natiers about that because uh, he should have had it all done and he yeah, hasn't. It, he was aware yeah. of it he was told and to anything by law that he's aware of, um, <coughs> he will have to pay for because it should have been well, done before we bought before we have to do our done the. Uh, Final purchase. No, that is the case. Right. He was told to, to take them trees down. Exactly. I don't know how long ago. One one fell down apparently, and uh, that in one was all road. chopped up. Oops. Fell into the road. That was all chopped up, and he's even taken the wood away. Obviously, so he can burn it. Um. So yeah, not too impressed about that. <coughs> uh, apart from nice. that, yeah, Marie was nice. There's, two, uh, there's 200 people that live in the, the commune. In the commune, which is, I suppose, equivalent to the village. And they're probably all in their 80s. Um, so what we did say to the Marie is once we're settled, we'll invite 
some of the village over, yep. along with himself. What um, aperitifs! I don't think you wore the right type of shoes to no, be coming in. No, I didn't expect to. Well, you're the one that said to come in here. It's quite tight, this goes to Marie's, because probably the last time I've got to see with my hair. And <laughs> and make and up. A, and a pair of jeans, white jeans on. Uh. Normally we're in. Uh, oh no, I'm not walking through that. No, I'm not walking through that. With sandals either. on. Right, this bit here, uh, I'll take a video of the road in a minute when we drive out. <coughs> this is where we're making the path, so the new entry will be uh, here. You might just be able to see the electricity pylon, if I can stop shaking. There's electricity pylon there, that's where the road is. Um, it doesn't look too bad, does it? No. I say that. <laughs> Till we get in there. Ask me tomorrow. <coughs> we're uh, obviously not going to be doing this today because we've... Didn't I've got, I've got, I've got shorts on. Sam's. I've got sandals. Wearing sandals and, and white uh, jeans. White jeans, yeah. So that's not very good. So the path will go from down there, and it goes all the way up there where we just walked, which will then lead into the back of the house. The back of the house. So when we've got trailers and other bits and pieces that we're bringing over, we don't have to pull up, and get out of the van. <laughs> um. Well, pull up to make the van safe because you can't even swing the van to the gate because half of the van will be sticking out. Even a car will still be sticking out. Plus, I'll probably drive past the house. And also, we don't want just want to leave the gates open because otherwise, people just walk in probably. I got that. We've got animals. We'll have animals living here in time. Our dogs. So. Yeah, no, I'm talking about in a moment. Which we haven't brought them here to see yet, have we? Lucy no. out Pomeranian would love it. The problem is though, when we're coming out like yesterday, we could have brought her yesterday really. But obviously we thought we were going to be using uh, strimmers and chainsaws and things like that. So I didn't really think it was advisable to bring a dog that will probably... Well, every time I start a bit of machinery up, she goes mad, especially a lawnmower. <coughs> she loves it. I don't think we'll see her though. Uh, well, hopefully she'll find she's a way like back. She's a farm animal, isn't she, Lucy? She spends all day in the summer watching, trying to catch the lizards. Lizards, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I think she'll love it. Yep. That's the chihuahua. He's not <laughs> too fast. He doesn't really like going out. Yeah. yeah. All right, so at least tomorrow we know what we're doing. This is the important job on our... List. ...to-do list, uh, number one, because... It just makes our life easier getting in and out, doesn't it? We can start bringing tools over, like yesterday I could have done with some a rake, a hammer, and saw and so forth. So obviously we That's one of the gates that I'll use for down there. There's another gate over the back I showed you yesterday when we walked into the other field. That's going to have to come down. Isn't it? It? That oh. bit of tree there, why you're not going to get through. That? Not that one, this one. Oh there. Isn't that one there? Shall we get the kids to pull that down? Pull it. Try, I'll chop it down with chainsaw. Got we'll to charge the little chainsaw, haven't we? Oof. So, yeah. So, anyway, we'll go back now. Jump on the old computer. Email the notes here. Not getting anywhere with that. Not getting anywhere with that, probably. Like your problem. You've bought the house, your problem, that seems like well, a it's not. problem. it's not, because you should have had it done. But you haven't checked the, the trees, yeah, but you haven't checked the water meter yet. Well, I was looking outside and you stopped, so I jumped in the van. I'm going to ah. take a walk down there now, I'm going to have a look, see if I'm seeing Isn't anything. Isn't it by the side of the house, the meter? No, that's the electric meter. I see. They reckon that the, the water meter was out the front. It was, cut, it was cut, uh, red and, sh and cut off by two ladies or something. At the Marie's office, so I don't know. Well, that is naughty. What <coughs> well, if they've read it, then surely they must have a meter number. Well, that's what I said. Oh, I don't know. He, the, he's, unless he's telling the note here one pack of lies, and she's not bothered checking it, she just took his word for it. Well, then they should have checked it, didn't they? So, anyway, mm -hmm. I'm going to go back, email the note here. I'm going to take one down now, see if I can see if there's anything that looks like a water meter. Um, then go back, I guess. There's not very much more we can do today. 
Uh, well, there probably is, but <laughs> we didn't have, I haven't got any, I'm not about to do it in sandals. And we haven't bought any, um, as far as I said, we've got to do the path and then sort the sheds out to bring our equipment Well, we went, we, we went to the shops to go and try and have a look at some, like, mini, mini tractors. Because I was like, I need one. And, um, first shop didn't have any in, in, in the shop. Well, which, any stuff. when you go online, there's loads of them, but there's absolutely none. A couple of sit on lawnmowers, that was it. And then we went to okay. Bricker Marsh. And we got in there, I was in there for all of five minutes, and they uh, decided they were shouting for lunch after we had sat there and said, organize You have to organise yourself. And uh, yeah. But the time goes so quick in the mornings. It's mm -hmm. like you, you do probably one or two shops, and then that's probably going to be your that's it, your yep. limit. So yeah, that's what we're doing now, uh, <laughs> and then we'll be back tomorrow, we'll video us doing whatever we're doing. The path. The path. Not doing what we're doing, the doing path. The path. And then we've got some friends coming on Thursday, Thursday. Bless their little who are going to sit there and uh, bring their special machine bush cutter thing to uh, to try and tame the beast. Oh, we are in big time for that. See, this side's got no, got nothing on it. Not either. It's not even growing on the chip, it's nothing. Not on the chimney or anything. Unless they... Unless it's too hot here. It doesn't grow. Don't know, there's a little bit climbing there. Oh, look at the wild strawberries there. Yeah. for a strawberry? I want to, um... I want to shingle this again, Toe. That's right. Wild strawberries. Toe. Yes, alright, Sam. Yeah. There's lots to do. Some kind of... Not relevant at the moment. Yep, see those trees there? There's four of them. All need to come down. Well, he said three of them are raised because I think one already fo had fallen. Well, there's, there's a Mahusid one somewhere. You just see the stump. Well, then maybe you better email the Marie first and get the specifics of which Specific, tree. Yeah. And when it's these, I'm telling you, it's these because they're. When he's asked, Mr. There's at least. Doctor. It looks like there's at least three dead there. That one's still got um, leaves on it. Probably going to see. The end one's still got leaves on it, but these three over here are dead. So obviously they need to come down. Right, I'm going to go and have a look, see if I find a water meter, and uh, <coughs> we'll see you tomorrow. All right, bye.